everyone, and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us today. I have been talking to you over the past few weeks about the rapture ready indicators, the setup for the take up. And we described about three or four things the last time we were together in this briefing concerning uh, the signs that are showing us that we're rapture ready. One is the vacuum of leadership that we talked to you about. Two was the global system that's taking place with the uh, gathering of the UN and the World Economic Forum and other uh, entities and elites across the globe to make one government, one structure that certainly will be used by the Antichrist. And then we also talk to you about the absolute power that is being taken by the governments of this world uh, instead of the Almighty God. And now on the horizon, we're watching as the uh, potential climate lockdowns, much like the pandemic. Now it's about the climate and uh, all that is taking place in the environment that will potentially be something used for locking down society, much like the pandemic. Today, I want to share with you, and this is something that you're hearing a lot about in the news right now, and that is the artificial intelligence deception, AI, and how that is uh, reaching the ability to have the intelligence of humans, according uh, to the article. And uh, there is one that is out there now that has literally uh, put together the AI Jesus that you can consult with for your problems, your situations. You can feed it into the AI, and it will return back to you what uh, AI says Jesus would say. Well, I don't have to look to AI. I can take the Bible and find out very clearly what it's all about. And uh, many people are dealing with the issues and talking about the issues of AI on the horizon. Some in uh, just the past 24 hours that I was watching a program that was describing AI, uh, I can assure you that it is far more advanced than what the average uh, human being is really understanding. It is reaching to such a level of human reasoning and human calculations that are far beyond the human's ability to do and to process. Uh, in the coming weeks from now, you're going to see more and more advertisement on a brand new movie coming out, all designed around AI and the taking over of the world. But what was intriguing to me was the title. It is called The Creator. My friends, we are seeing the uh, actual uh, conflagration that is coming together between God and man's human ability and knowledge in AI that is wanting to take over and much like Lucifer in the beginning, rising and saying, I will ascend the throne. I will take over. I will be seated in that position where God is. And I'm telling you, my friends, there is still a sovereign God in heaven who has already outlined for this world the end uh, and what it's going to be. I want to take you to the book of Luke very quickly, where Luke says in Luke 21 and 8, take heed that you be not deceived. This is what AI is bringing upon our society. And while there may be good things that comes out of it, I can assure you that the Antichrist will certainly tap into the power of AI globally and all the way down to individuals like you and me. The recent unveiling of the chat GPT is absolutely stunning, and it is now has the ability to write the thesis and uh, whatever that it may be for a sermon that was delivered in churches. It is being consulted, and um, uh, information is being asked of chat GPT and others just like it concerning world issues and uh, world peace and about countries and alignments and borders and so forth. And AI is very much involved in the decision-making process in our world today in every way, both economically in our banking system, uh, financially, of course, uh, all the way down to your personal uh, bank accounts, uh, globally in the interest of the elites, global elites that are trying to decide what to do with society, with the uh, climate uh, change that's going on, every aspect of our life is being fed into AI for these decisions. That's the reason why Jesus said in Luke 21 and 8, take heed that you be not deceived. For many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ. And the time draweth near, go ye not therefore after them. 
according to the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 13, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. According to Matthew 24, 11 and 12, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity, the very intents of the heart of man, iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Matthew 24, 24 says this too, for there shall rise false Christ, false anointings and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders insomuch if it were possible that it should deceive the very elect. My friends, we're on the edge of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as I show you from uh, the articles today, and there are so many, I, I don't have time to show you them all, dealing with AI with artificial intelligence, I wanna let you know that you need to bypass the artificial intelligence and go straight to divine intelligence. God and the mind of God can be known through the word of God and direct your path according to the power of the Holy Spirit. Today's a day to lift up your eyes towards God and recognize that our redemption is drawing nigh. The signs are all around us for a rapture ready a group of people called the Bride of Christ. Are you ready? If you're not, today's the day of salvation. Give your life to Jesus Christ and be ready because I believe Jesus Christ is coming soon.